Thank you. Yes, I'm calling to express my opposition to S-219. I promise to keep my remarks short. Uh, first of all, I, I just want to take a uh, moment to express my appreciation for what you are legislators do. Um, <laughs> listening to the testimony that you're listening to, I'm thinking to myself, there's no way I could have the patience for it. So uh, I'm sincere when I say that you, the committee members, provide a great service to the state. Thank you. Um, now, um, here's my reason for objecting to this bill. Uh, the bill starts out by stating its intent to create more affordable housing in Rhode Island, and that's something I actually strongly support. Uh, but buried some 34 pages down in the proposed legislation are some very troubling sections. These sections dramatically impact uh, property owners in the state. Uh, you know, I'm talking about the sections affecting the landlord-tenant relationship. In fact, I don't know how they found their way into a bill designed to create jobs or increase housing. Uh, I'll briefly share my own story. Uh, I have a 22-year-old son currently working in New Hampshire. Our family owns a small ranch-style house in Warwick that we currently rent out. And the plan is uh, someday soon my son will come back down to Rhode Island and that's where he'll get his start in life in that house. If this proposed legislation were to pass, he could never move into the house uh, unless the tenants agreed to move out. And I thought, okay, we can sell the house and use the proceeds to buy another property. But then I realized we couldn't sell it to another family because they couldn't move in either. So uh, we could only sell it to another landlord who would be stuck with the same arrangement. So as uh, they say, we'd be stuck between a rock and a hard place. Uh, finally, I, I also feel that the portion of the bill that more than doubles the time it takes to evict a tenant for non-payment of rent has no place in this particular piece of legislation. So I urge you to uh, either modify this bill and remove those sections that impact uh, our current landlord-tenant laws so dramatically, or simply vote to uh, vote it down in its entirety. Uh, those are my comments, and I sincerely thank you again for giving me this opportunity. Of course, and thank you very much uh, for your testimony.